Actress Joy Bihar is a well-known name in entertainment. She's famous for her quick wit and humor, and she's been a host on The View for a long time, where she shares her unique perspective. But there's more to her than what you see on TV. There are interesting stories and facts about her that you might not know. Fans have lots of cool, surprising, or touching experiences with her. If you have any stories like that, feel free to share them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we explore some interesting facts about this classic actor. Born on October 7, 1942, in Brooklyn, New York City, Joy Bihar grew up in a middle-class Italian-American family. Raised by Rose and Gino Akiuto, her parents provided a nurturing environment. Joy attended Queens College, earning a degree in sociology. Growing up in the diverse city of New York, Joy was exposed to different perspectives and ideas. Her family's support and the varied environment influenced her outlook on life. After college, she briefly worked as a high school English teacher before entering the entertainment industry. Starting as a receptionist at Good Morning America, she gradually climbed the ranks, eventually finding success in comedy. Her sharp wit and relatable humor gained attention in the comedy scene. Regularly performing at clubs in New York City, she honed her craft and built a loyal fan base. In 1997, Joy became one of the original co-hosts of the daytime talk show The View. Her outspoken nature and ability to engage in lively debates endeared her to audiences, contributing to the show's success. Throughout her career, she remained true to her roots, infusing her performances with the same Brooklyn charm and sharp humor that shaped her upbringing. Her early life experiences and family values continue to influence her work, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Joy Bihar, famous for her roles in movies like Tootsie, The Birdcage, and Unfaithful, considers them among her favorite films. She also has a fondness for World War II movies such as Downfall. Before pursuing acting, she held a job as a secretary at Good Morning America, where she handled phone calls. Additionally, Bihar taught at Lindenhurst High School in Long Island, New York. Interestingly, rock singer Pat Benader attended the same school during her teenage years, although they didn't cross paths until much later. Bihar's journey from secretary to actress and teacher highlights her diverse experiences. Known for her quick wit and sharp humor, Joy Bihar trained as an actor at the Herbert Berghoff HB Studio in Greenwich Village, New York City. In 2017, she wrote a book called The Great Gas Bag. Before that, she thought up funny titles like War and Hairpiece, Moby Dickhead, and The Son-in-Law Also Rises. She became a grandmother to Luca in February 2011, which brought her immense joy. Her move from acting to writing shows her many talents and endless creativity. This story, full of humor and depth, tells the amazing journey of one person. Joy Bihar, once an English teacher, is known for various aspects of her life. She had a dog named Max who passed away, a loyal companion who brought her immense joy. In 1979, she nearly lost her life due to an ectopic pregnancy, a harrowing experience that left her grappling with mortality. Her journey from the classroom to the entertainment industry was shaped by her time as an educator, instilling in her a deep appreciation for communication and storytelling. Before stepping into the limelight, her days were filled with lesson plans and marking papers laying the groundwork for her future endeavors. Throughout her life, she has encountered both triumphs and tribulations, navigating personal and professional challenges with resilience. From moments of profound loss to the exhilaration of success, she has weathered the highs and lows with grace and determination. Despite facing adversity, she has remained steadfast in her pursuit of passion and purpose, carving out a unique path in the world of entertainment. Her wit and charisma have captivated audiences, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Whether delivering sharp commentary or sharing heartfelt stories, her presence leaves a lasting impression on those around her. Joy Bihar's journey showcases the power of perseverance and the resilience of the human spirit. At the age of 28, she had her first child, a daughter named Eve, on November 26, 1970. Eve's father is her ex-husband, Joseph Bihar. She looks a lot like Betty Midler. Before becoming an actress, she worked in a mental hospital. Her life story is a mix of being a mother, looking like Betty Midler, and working in a mental hospital. This story shows how she's been through different things in life. She's faced challenges and grown stronger because of them. She represents the ups and downs of life, taking care of others and looking like someone else. Her story is full of ups and downs, showing how life can be unexpected and tough sometimes. 
In 1997, Joy Bahar, along with her close friends, wrote a helpful book called When You Need a Lift But Don't Want to Eat Chocolate, Pay a Shrink or Drink a Bottle of Gin. In it, they shared valuable advice on overcoming life's challenges. The book reflects Bihar's experiences and her friendship with Susie Esmond, showing a real connection beyond fame. Bihar got married at 22 but faced a divorce at 39, adding complexity to her story. Despite this, her humor and honesty have made her relatable and inspiring to many. The book, When You Need a Lift, shows Bihar's commitment to helping others with humor and wisdom. It's a reflection of friendship and resilience, showing that everyone needs support at times. This reflection on Bihar's journey and the insights in her book remind us that we all face challenges and sometimes laughter and friendship can lift us up. After finishing her Master of Arts in English Education from SUNY Stony Brook, Joy Bihar started her own talk show on HLN in September 29. She attended Donald Trump and Marla Maple's wedding at New York's Plaza Hotel as one of the esteemed guests. At the reception, when she returned to her table after dancing, she found the film missing from her camera. This surprising event left her confused, wondering how it disappeared amidst such luxury and celebration. Despite this setback, she still enjoyed the rest of the evening, soaking in the festivities and the happy atmosphere surrounding the newlyweds. Looking back on the incident later, she couldn't help but laugh at the funny memory of her camera mishap amid all the grandeur. It was a story she often shared, adding a humorous touch to her tales from that unforgettable evening. And so, in the midst of the glamour of the Plaza Hotel, the camera mishap became a memorable tale, remembered as one of her experiences. Joy Bihar, well known for her work on TV, is one of six people who honored Joan Rivers, Regis Philbin, and Barbara Walters when they passed away. She's part of the Delta Zeta sorority, which values friendship and helping others. Bihar has won three Mac Awards and a Cable Ace Award, showing how good she is at her job. She's great at making people laugh and keeping them interested with her clever jokes and charm. Over the years, she's been on TV a lot, making people from different age groups like her. Bihar has had a big impact on TV and comedy, and she'll always be remembered for it. Her journey from starting out with not much to becoming famous on TV shows how strong and passionate she is about her work. She's known as one of the best in comedy, and TV and fans all over the world love her. This tribute celebrates her amazing career and all the good things she's done in entertainment. In September 2007, Joy Bahar's daughter, Eve, got married to a doctor. Interestingly, her new in-laws are in the funeral business. After finishing her bachelor's degree in sociology from Queens College, she pursued various interests. One of her projects was a book titled Joy S. H. Dick, or What is the Existential Vacuum? and does it come with attachments. It explored humor's deep connection to human experience. Eve's sharp insights and clever observations received praise from both readers and critics. The book quickly became a favorite among sociology and comedy enthusiasts alike. Eve's blend of intellect and humor captivated audiences, establishing her as a talented writer. The success of Joy S. H. Dick opened doors to new opportunities and projects. Through her writing, she continues to delve into human behavior with insight and humor. Eve's work in literature showcases her intellect and creativity. Her ability to tackle deep subjects with wit sets her apart as a promising writer. Audiences eagerly anticipate her future projects. Joyous H. Stick was just the beginning of Eve Bihar's exciting journey.